So today, we're talking about how to properly support your melons. Melons can be small, personal sized melons. They can be larger melons, no matter the size. They need to be properly supported. What, what did you think I was talking about? Watermelons, we need to support our watermelons. As they, as they grow on the vine, come on, this is a gardening show. Gosh, get your mind out of the gutter. So as the melons grow, if you are growing them up a trellis or some other area where they're not creeping along the ground, they, have, they are vines. And so they'll put out these little, little uh, I don't even know what these are called, the little uh, pieces of plant that reach out and wrap around uh, whatever they can to climb. And that is what a vine does. And this watermelon is growing on the vine. We planted it in the smart pots behind us and they have gone beyond the smart pots, gone beyond their little uh, green enclosures and they're now growing along the fence. And this watermelon is growing in size and gaining in weight every day. So we need to give it a little bit of support. We don't want it to uh, snap. We don't want it to damage any of the parts of the vine that are grabbed onto the fence. So we need to give it the right support. I've seen a lot of good ideas for how you can support your watermelons as they're growing up some sort of trellis like this. I've seen people build little platforms for them to let them rest on. Uh, but the method we're going to go with is kind of a hammock-like method. Uh, we're going to use some cloth here. I've taken an old shirt and we've cut out a good rectangle and we're going to kind of make a hammock out of it. We just cut it into a rectangle shape and we're going to end up wrapping it underneath the watermelon and then bringing the two corners together up higher to give it that support that it needs so that it's not weighing on the vine. Let's bring the camera in closer and check this out. Now that we're in nice and close, that is a beautiful watermelon. It is growing quickly and uh, we got a lot of other flowers and buds happening in the background. But again, we're going to use this cloth and we're going to get it underneath the watermelon, kind of wrap it around like a hammock, prop it up a little bit, and then we're going to take the two corners on each side and tie it up to a spot on the fence kind of like this as you can see and we're just going to tie it up so that it is holding it up like a hammock and as this thing continues to grow in size it does not take the vine with it or rip any of the uh, little grippy arms that's my technical term we're using since I forgot what these are called <laughs> Okay, we have our hammock here. Pull it down a little bit. We see that we are resting in there. It is not going anywhere. We've got it tied in a knot over here and over here. And as it grows, it'll be able to uh, stretch this out. A key to the fabric is to make sure it is something kind of loose, breathable, and stretchy. You don't want it to be fabric that's not going to budge and have it be too little. And then, the, you know, you end up having a watermelon that grows too big and falls out or whatever. Uh, this lets you save on space on the floor, lets your watermelon grow where it needs it to grow, and supports it so that it's not a strain on the vine. Keep that fabric loose, airy, and stretchy. There you have it, short and sweet, little hammock for your watermelon. Make sure you support them. Uh, the vines love growing on things like fence or other types of trellisy material, and a lot of times that's not going to be the best place for the watermelon as it gets bigger to grow, especially if it's a big variety. Build a little hammock like this, or use one of the other creative ideas on the internet, building it a platform, things like that. You'll find a good solution. I think this one will work just fine for having a watermelon grow along a fence. Thanks for tuning in to another Misadventures in Gardening, and we'll see you for the next one.